Hello there and welcome back. So today we are ready to link up our view with our controller. So we're going to be talking about the list view. So that's item 2E1 there on a long list of things to do for the client task module. But we're pretty much there. We've done most of the things on our list. So let's jump in and look at the code. Let's go now to our task template. And here I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call it task that's list.html. And not much, much here, but for now, let's just keep working. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say um, list of tasks. And then I'm going to say that, that, that um, you know, well, before we can know how, what to use here, we have to go to our route, right? So at that route, and we can see we have a to do um, control and stuff. We don't have anything for task. Let's put in one for task. So let's do that. Uh, control Z and let's do that. And we're going to put in one for task. So this one is slash to do. And we'll, we'll kind of leave that there for sanity. And we'll make the slash one our task one. And it's going to be in this task uh, feature directory templates, and it's going to be task dash list is the HTML, and the controller is going to be task list controller, and we're going to just call it um, CTRL maybe. Um, we don't have to call it like CTRL. We don't have more than one controller really on that form, so CTRL is good enough, right? So that means that on my HTML, I'm gonna have access to CTRL, which is really the name for task list controller. So I'm gonna have access to CTRL that the tasks that are being exposed and apply those to the JSON um, filter, okay? And remember that is coming from exactly here. Um, also, I probably want to show those error message if I get it. So error message, I just do it. Error message dial dial control that M E S G. Okay. And so let's just see if this even works first of all. So uh, I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, maybe I, I'll wrap this in paragraph. Um, that that paragraph. And then paragraph, and then wrap this. Oh, uh, in a paragraph. And so this is. Let's make this the heading. Um, um, and then we we'll maybe we should put this in a div of some sort. Or oh, which div should we put it in? Well, let's look at a to-do one, and we'll copy and say. Let's reuse this, copy that, and panel transition, all that stuff. We'll, we'll look at all that stuff. That's all different thing. Okay, so then there we go. And I'm going to close my two diffs and close my two diffs, and I'm going to format it. Okay, all right, so I think that's good enough. Um, let's run our application. So we're going to do npm run dev. And let's hope everything comes up. It's running, 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 and there's our application. It connects to browsing, and there's an error. The fact that I'm seeing this is an error. Now remember, what we did in our, um, our app route is we said the default route slash should go to you know, this route. Um, so that's why we're trying to bring up this page. So now we have to see, um, so there's our nice border here. So let's see what the error is. So let's go view, let's go developer and JavaScript console, and let's open. And I know exactly what the error is. So it can't find the control with name, blah, blah, blah. The reason it can't find it is because here we have all these files, right? We have task list controller, task DEO, task model, task resource, and forget task service, we're not using that. But our index doesn't have any of those, right? It has the ones for to do. So Let's just um, put those in there. So for our, and let me see if this works. Yep, 
So if I do task, right? That's the feature directory is called task. Model is task model. Task DL, TSK task. Task resource, TSK task. Task controller was task dash list controller. So now I should expect things to work. And while I'm in it, I'm gonna go in and put in the create one also and create, okay? So I'm gonna include that. Notice I'm not including the service one because I'm not sure if you want service right now and I might just delete that. So that's fine. And okay, so now I'm getting refuse to execute script task service. Huh. My, um, it doesn't look like my, so I don't have my thing in the service directory, right? Actually, what I have is, is in the, if we go look here for me, my task DO is in the factory directory and my resource is in the resource directory. So resource, come on, resource, S-O-U-R-C, resource, and this is in the factory directory. So again, if I go back, let that save. And once I save, browser sync should detect it and fetch it and it goes to the back end and it fetched my one object and it listed it there, okay? Remember we had created one object um, from our, uh, when we had created um, Post-it through Postman. Okay, this is what I was referring to. So let's post an, a task. And so I'm a pre creator one that says, second task here and I'm going to send that and oh it says bad request and that's because I need a couple of things well my ed editor is content type JSON post okay JSON let's see type JSON and um, it says message path is path done is required so I need my done I need my owner ID and um, so I'll miss in a few things so let's do comma uh, done is true um, uh, was it owner ID um, we says required when we're saving it so I'm gonna put in some kind of weird owner ID it's just a string and let's see if I can save that and get that saved now so I still didn't accept it it says um, oh yes it did it accepted it and that post was successful see created on and the ID right and so that was created today, second, February 1st. Okay, all right, so that's successful. And of course, if I do get, I should get back my two tasks. And now if I jump back to my application, I reload it, I should see two tasks. And that's exactly what I see and no error message. So now we successfully have tied our task front end to the back end. Now we should massage it. Now to massage it, Excuse me, I had to sneeze there. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. So I'm gonna copy this. This is, we don't need a form. So um, I don't need a form to uh, display um, the, my, what was I, I'm trying to say. I don't need a form to display um, on my listing page because it's just a list. But what I do want is a, and I'm gonna look and see um, we're using Bootstrap, so I could go look at Bootstrap, but here I'm going to cheat a little bit and just copy basically what they have here. And so I'm going to go here, paste this, and so we have a table to list our stuff. Um, we don't need this button, this div box for, well, actually, this is nothing to do, so go outside. Just, we can use this for our displaying our message. So we can say, well, actually, if fetching... Um, our stuff give us an error. Um, let's see, we can say nothing to fetch to get right now, but let's see. So if CTRL, so let me highlight these guys. Uh, paste. Um, okay, seems like I have way too many. Okay, so let me copy this. Um, copy this, copy this. Uh, this and then I'm gonna say CTRL. That's what I'm using. Um, I have task, right? T in task ordered by 
you know, to do's, to do's, to do and to do's. Um, so that's a class somewhere in the style sheet for that. And then we have T that subject, that um, to do message, and then T that done transition. So I'm gonna call it task. And then we can go copy their animation and then delete to do. Okay, so we'll revisit this, but let's say delete task. We're gonna see how we're gonna do our delete task and T that ID. So that's gonna be ID for the task we wanna delete. Okay, for now we're gonna leave that. That's not gonna work. Here we're gonna say to do that to do that task. If the length of it is you know if there's no length or zero, then we can show um, no task created or oh, nothing to do go outside. Okay, we could leave that. That's cute. All right. Um, so this goes with this, and this goes with this one, and we don't. And then this goes with this, and so we don't need this. And so at the bottom of all this, we have a horizontal rule separating our table and possibly a message if um, if we don't have anything. And here's a button, so we have some buttons. And uh, this ID is, let's call it task button, submit. We don't need a submit button actually. So this button um, is, we're gonna use this if you wanna create a task. So we're gonna call it, um, uh, well, we don't actually need a button. We can use a hypertext reference. And we can say href is equals to, um, we wanna go to the task slash, so task slash new or create page, right? So we're gonna decide what URL we're gonna use. And let's go, bam, 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 bam. And then we're gonna do call it add. And then this is A. And then we're gonna use one of the bootstrap button, like primary or something like that. But we'll see, we'll get there. So let's just see what this look like now. So um, we know that we're getting back some object from JSON object. So let's see, count, we will do that L-A-N-G-T-H. And so we said number of tasks, right? And then let's go back and see if, yep, so number of tasks is two. And there they are, they're listed right there. And in terms of, um, this is a row, row. we're gonna repeat the row and table data. And so let's say span table data, we have the subject and then there's a div for done transition. Um, we don't need a div here. Um, hmm. um, so let's have a div inside of the um, thing. So what I'm gonna do instead is change this from a div to a, mm, let me just make it a slash, slash TD, table data, and then I'll put it in table data, and then I'm gonna say this is a ref, ng click, we can still do ng click, remove, this stuff and then a all right and let me refresh this um thing this and let's see what it looks like so okay so we have the x button here um and so right now again this doesn't do anything but we can change that very easily by going to our controller we have this delete task um function here and so we can easily implement a um delete task function. We can say self that delete task is equals to a function which takes the ID of the task to be deleted. And then what we're we gonna do? We can call our DAO to do our every work, right? We call remember we have a delete method on our DAO that takes an ID, if you remember. And what we're gonna do is then we can call a function if there's success and we can do another function if there's an error. So let's look at our DAO. Our DAO, we have this delete task. Ah, we call it delete task, and it takes an ID. Oh, we don't care to look at that because we went over that already. So delete task, that's our method. And so if it's successful, 
successful, we want to do function. Um, remember, if it's successful, once you do a delete, there's nothing else to do. So we don't accept any parameter. But what we would like to do is refresh our listing. So let's do a refresh function. Refresh listing. All right. Or refresh task listed. Refresh task. And that's what we're going to do. We call a refresh task. We have re we, we're going to write this function in a minute. And then if there's an error, which is function error, um, we're going to want to know what that is. So we're going to say self that MESG is equals to error message that we get back. Okay, so what does this refresh function actually look like? Um, so we come in, we have empty um, thing, we do this, and then here we do a call to, to update the thing. So this is to get all the list in. So it seems as though our refresh really should be just doing this. Our refresh is really, so function, refresh, refresh task is just doing all of this stuff that we're doing here. So if we put this inside of a function and then we call this before we return, which is do a refresh, refresh task, seems as though we get what we want, which is before we leave, we define this on our controller. This is an internal function that we call to, to refresh the listing and populate this. And then after we, if we do a delete and it successfully deletes something from the backend, we should fetch the new objects from the backend. Now why, we, we could have removed it from the listing that we have and all that stuff, but we can assume we have constant connection to the backend and we just refresh from the backend. That gives us new objects also that might have been inserted from another device or another user if we start sharing tasks and so on. So we just update our listing with whatever the backend says it has. So if we come here now, and then we do this, and we say, this is not a comment, so we really want to delete this. Notice how it removes it. And if we go to Postman and we refresh, you can see it's gone. So we have our front end successfully tied up to our back end, where we are actually deleting So that wasn't that. too bad. So now we have at least end-to-end -end communication in terms of, from our view, all the way to our back end, or at least from our back end, if you look at it as we pull in the data that we have there, all the way from the back end, all the way to our front end where we can display it. Of course, we use Postman to create things so far. But in the next video, we're going to actually create our task form and use that to post data to our back end. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.